In the previous video, I finished all of my woodwork on my custom amplifier rack. Now it's time to wrap these pieces in carpet and vinyl and give them a finished look. But what upholstery adhesive should we use and what specialty tools are needed in order to get the best result? That's coming up in this episode where I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step upholstery process of the amplifier rack. I'm super excited about how this turned out, guys. I can't wait to show you. What's up my fabtastic fabrication family? Welcome to Car Audio Fabrication, the show where together we learn how to master car audio and how to design, build, and install our dream car audio system. Here on this channel, I do reviews, I teach lessons, and I do build log videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Let's start slanging some glue. To get started with the upholstery process, I'm gonna lay out a piece of carpet onto the table that's roughly the same size as the piece that I'm going to be wrapping. For all my upholstery projects, I always use DAP Weldwood HHR Top and Trim Adhesive. This adhesive is by far the best. It sticks extremely well and it does well in all sorts of different temperatures. I'll put a link to where you can purchase it down in the video description. Now you may have noticed in this project I'm using a brush rather than using an air gun like I usually do. If you do a lot of upholstery I think it makes sense to use a gun and you can check out my video about the gun that I like to use on screen but I know not everyone does this all the time, so I wanted to show you another low cost option that still gets great results. I'm using a brush on this project. The important thing is just that I continue to move fast and not apply too much adhesive in one spot of the carpet or it will soak through. Now that our material is coated, we can pull that out of the way and we're gonna start applying the adhesive to our actual piece. I of course wanna make sure that I cover all surfaces and I even wanna get this little edge here that we'll be using to wrap the carpet around. Now here's one of the most important tips and critical aspects of this project, allow time for the adhesive to dry. This is super important. The adhesive should be dry to the touch. The adhesive is designed to only stick to itself. So once it's dry, we can now stick the two pieces together. I start with light pressure just to get everything kind of in position. Next, there's two different tools that I like to use for final positioning. The first is this cool roller tool. A quick shout out to my good friend Matt Schaefer for the tip on using this tool. This tool really works great for pushing material into tight corners or down into grooves. Next up is my trusty wooden roller. The roller really works great to put firm pressure down on the material and really lock it into place. Again, links to both of those tools can be found down in the video description. With our workpiece flipped over, we can now start prepping the backside. Now you may remember this rabbited groove that I added during the woodworking stage of this project. This groove is going to help us in a couple of different ways, but I'm going to start with applying some more adhesive. I make sure that I also apply some adhesive around the outside perimeter on the material. After once again allowing the adhesive time to dry, I can start wrapping the material around to the back side. The step that I've created gives me a good surface to push against when using this pry tool to lock the material into place. It also gives me a great surface to ride the Ulfa knife through to create a precision cut. This allows the material to have a clean, precise cut line, and more importantly, it makes it so this piece will sit flat within the vehicle. It won't be higher because of bunched up material on the back side of the piece. So now I have this piece complete and it's ready to be installed into the vehicle. For the other pieces that are wrapped in carpet, I did these same steps. Started with outlining the shape, I then coated the pieces, I then allowed it to dry, worked the material into position, and then did final trimming. Next, I moved on to doing all the vinyl pieces. Now, one of the major differences with the vinyl is you can apply a little bit more upholstery adhesive to the back side because you don't have to be as worried about it soaking through. This added adhesive is important so that we can really work the material into the tight corners on some of these pieces. Once again, the rabbited groove that I added during the woodworking stage of this project comes in handy to guide the Ulfa knife so I get a nice clean cut. Now I have everything set up here on the workbench and I can start test fitting everything together. Now one of the reasons that everything's gonna go together with such a precise fit is because I took the time to make sure that I accounted for proper gaps between these pieces. If you haven't seen that video that I did on that process yet, you wanna make sure that you go back and watch it. So let's get everything put back into place in the vehicle and take a look at the finished build. Now I do plan on adding some molded metal mesh over the top of the amplifiers, much like what is in front of the subwoofer box, 
but I'm not sure if I'll make a video about it. If you guys would like to see that video, let me know by posting a comment. Also, if you enjoyed this video and this video series, if you could just take a quick second to smash that like button, I'd really appreciate that. This is always my favorite part of a build, putting the finishing touches on, and I have to say I'm really happy with the way this turned out. If you're new to my videos, I also have a custom build going on in a Jeep right now where I'm gonna be doing another custom amplifier rack and a custom subwoofer box, so you should subscribe and you can check out those videos here. If you are a regular here and you find these videos helpful, be sure to check out my Patreon page where you can help support the channel and get additional content and perks. A special thanks goes out to Eddie, Brian, Ali, Finchy, EJ, Emmanuel, Rory, Truman, and Jerry and the rest of the Patreon support team. Thank you guys for all your support and thank you again to everyone out there for watching.